Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle News update. I'm joined by John Romano. Uh, sad to report, John, another death in our industry. Billy Thunder Smith, uh, American Gladiator, top NPC national bodybuilder, fixture at Gold's Gym Venice for years, ran all the nutrition and uh, the Gold's Gym supplements over there. Uh, you knew him very well, and that's why I have you joining me here today to talk a little bit about the, the good times when Billy Smith was at the height of his career. Uh, John, it's, it's amazing, but it's like every single, it, before it was every week I was saying, now it's like every day we're reporting uh, the death of another person in our industry, uh, which kind of makes me a little sad. What, what, when you think Billy Smith, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Oh, gladiators. Well, well two things, gladiators and riding our Harleys together. You know, we, we both had black FXRS Harley Davidsons and we used to ride together up in Venice, L, you know, all over LA. And um, you know, those were good times. He, he went. There was a. He was married to a girl named Kathy Sasson, who used to do nutrition analysis at Golds. And um, we, um, she was really good friends with, with. Actually, she was my best friend for years. And then you know, Billy came along. We became friends, and then Shelly came along, and Shelly and Kathy were friends. So we were uh, like, as a couple, as two couples, we were together like all the time. We used to have, we used to have. Uh, sushi night um you know every friday and you know Bill, billy would eat like you know 90 pieces of sushi. <laughs> was it was it true that he someone told me he was like 400 pounds at one point was that true he, i don't know if it was 400 but he was well into the threes yeah you know and, and billy was he, you know as far as as far as biology physiology everything that machinated the human body he was just an expert at and he you know he, i mean he was able to his genetics were not that great you know for bodybuilding but man he did he made the most out of what he had and he was a, a tremendous tremendous guy i mean uh, one of the biggest bodybuilders on stage you know ever well yeah because he was what was he said how tall was he he was i think he was like six four yeah he was very big I don't know. I really thought that he should have gone into the movies. I really, because when I saw him on American Gladiators, I was like, this guy is like, this is American Gladiators, right? I mean, th when you think American, that was the guy who was like the, the, the front man for that whole thing. Yeah, and, and, like, and, and, and he, he was really good at being a gladiator, oh, too. Yeah. yeah, there was this one event, I forgot what they called it, but it was like all these rings that you swung by, yeah. you know? And the, the, the contender would start at one end, and the gladiator would start at the other end and they'd swing, you know, by these rings right. and the, the object was for the contender to get to the other side and pass the gladiator. So Billy used to freaking hunt these people, you know, so he, he'd let them start going. Then he'd pull way back uh, on that ring and he'd skip one. It's unbelievable to see a 300 pound guy flying through the air and grab a ring with one hand, yeah. you know, and, and swing. And then he, then he, close in on the guy and fly off with <laughs> and fly through the air and grab him and of course you know he'd go full, he'd go get knocked off the ring you know 180 pound guy gets attacked by a 300 pound gorilla in midair <laughs> you're not staying on the rings yeah you know or or your arm is going to stay there and the rest of you is going down it amazed me how athletic he was at that at that weight yeah it was really uh, kind of very impressive. very incredible very agile very you know sure of his footing he was he was a, he, he was a definitely an outlier a really incredible guy very smart um you know he was book smart anyway um, he really knew nutrition, physiology, biology. He, he, you know, he did. New, he, he and Neil Spruce created um, uh, what was it Intrafit. before nutrition analysis? Intrafit or something like that. Um, Intrafit. No, yeah. nutrition analysis first, and then him and him and Neil parted ways oh. amicably, and um, Billy started nutrition analysis. He basically from the ground up started a completely new, this new nutrition program while he was on tour with wow. the gladiators he built a van there was like an off like a mobile office so kathy would drive and he was in the back you know typing away <laughs> we're, we're creating this new you know system it was unbelievable that is pretty that, yeah he was i know he was a, re, a real workaholic so yes, I, I can relate very, to that for sure very driven i got very a, driven. a text message this morning saying i can't believe billy smith died 
Um, he helped me for the 93 Olympia. And then I realized it was Lou Ferrigno who texted yeah. me. So even Louie was very upset about that. I, I was just texting him now. He yeah. just asked me if I knew what happened. And, you know, yeah. He was, he was in shock. And, of course, you know, Pelecci is actually the one who called me this morning or last night. And he said that Jimmy Quinn had found out because Jimmy was very tight with Billy. And I guess his yeah. family called it Jimmy Quinn up and told Jimmy what had happened. From, from what I understand, and I, and I don't think there's an official cause. I, John, by the way, John just had surgery on his uh, uh, yeah. hernia, so he's a little uh, out of it. But that's, uh, we appreciate you sucking it up for the show. But what this I show did, must go on. <laughs> yeah, what I did hear, however, was that he had been in the hospital in North Carolina, ironically, right near you. Not right near me. Even though you're South Carolina, but eh, same thing. <laughs> And, Closer than L.A. Yeah, and he supposedly had some infections going on in his body from, I think, I don't know if he had knee surgeries, and he was a little, he had septicemia, which is obviously when the infection spreads to your body. And supposedly, uh, two weeks ago, he was doing much, much better, and they thought he was out of the water. And then all of a sudden, I think it would just, he took a turn for the, for the down. And so this wasn't unexpected. You know, he was in the hospital. It wasn't like he just dropped on the street from right. a heart attack. Um, I don't have the official cause of death, but you know, sometimes you know, when you have a septicemia or you have a bacterial infection in your body, it could cause heart attack or something like that as well. So, or shut down your breathing or so, something to that degree. I, you know, people ask me if he had COVID or if he got a vaccine. That's right. not the case as far as I know. No. The, the, what is the case is my crusade that I keep telling everybody. There's no 80-year-old 300-pounders. You guys have got to tone it down. Yeah. You, you can't walk around at 60 years old at almost 400 pounds. It's yeah. just stupid. Yeah. You know, you, you're you smart. You you lost a ton of weight. I did. You know, the guys who are going to survive are the guys who are getting lighter and paying attention to their health. Yeah. The guys who are stuck on being huge are going to die huge. You're yeah. just not going to be very old. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and I think this is a good case in point. If you're so big that your knees are shot, you know, it's it's nature's way of telling you, you know, back off a little bit. Right, right. Well, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I know Billy was still pretty big, according to what Jimmy Quinn told me. But uh, yeah, it was huge. He was a well liked guy. I competed with him back in the '90s at a couple of shows. I think it was the USA Championships, and I think he, I think he actually beat me, or he was right. I don't remember. We were one or two places, uh, uh, you know, aside, and I really didn't know him that well, aside from like we said, we talked a few minutes backstage because I never really, you know, hung out with him, but. From what I understand, you know, and, and from what you told me and Chris Aceto told me and, and a lot of people told me, he was very smart. I mean, Jimmy Quinn had some notoriously crazy workouts with him that you saw in Muscle oh, Development yeah. Magazine where they loaded up that leg press machine with, like, you know, every weight in the gym. Plus, they had people sitting on top of it. And, you know, him and Jimmy would go through, you know, set after set after set, like 20 sets of leg presses on that thing. And, yeah. if, if, you know, because I don't know if Tyler could find those pictures, but they were crazy, crazy. Pictures. Oh, they were not. Well, for a while, they were both under contract with Twin Lab. Yes. And and they were they would do these photo shoots with these just insane weights and, and um, you know, just cr crazy, crazy stuff. That that you leg know. press. No, I, I just remember looking like when I was a kid, a kid, when I was younger coming up, maybe my early 19, 20 years old, seeing those pictures of, of just massive plates on there and there's Jimmy Quinn and you know, veins yeah, coming yeah. out of their head. They were so fucking big and, and veiny vascular. It was, it was yep. a, I don't know who shot that those pictures, but they were definitely classics. Per Burnell. Oh, that's a Per Burnell photo shoot. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was. It was. It, it, it's. It, it's funny. Billy Smith was the catalyst for me to realize Blackman was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I, rem I remember. I remember sitting at dinner one night. Him and Kathy, Shelley and me, and Blackman and his wife. We we're in some steakhouse, of course. After Blackman got done rubbing everybody's shoulders, he um, we were talking about training, and 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 you know, I guess the leg press thing came up, and and Blackman goes, "Yeah, if, if you got to squeeze like I do, like I do, you got to squeeze everywhere, you got to squeeze." And it, and Billy's sitting there, like, "What the fuck is this moron talking about?" You know. And, and he was like that, you know, he was like, what are you, you're an idiot. What are you talking about? It's the guy signing his check, you know, he didn't give a shit. It was, it was really funny. And that was like the moment I realized here's a 122 pound guy telling a 400 pound guy, you know, how to, how to work his legs. You know? Yeah, but I heard Jimmy, I mean, I heard Billy was very like blunt. Like if he heard people talking stupid stuff, he would just call him out, right? He was as blunt he probably the most more blunt than Dan Duchesne, and and that's saying something. I mean, oh, really? he was just 
blunt. I, I remember we were we were riding our bikes, riding our Harleys one day, and some you know homeless guy started you know going off on him about how big he was and and, and, the, and the you know this and that and. Billy just looks at him and he goes, "Get the fuck out of here!" You know, like, just, <laughs> you know just like, like what you're. You thinking. or I would have given him five dollars. Billy was like, "Right, get right, out of, get, get out of my way." It's what you're thinking. It's yeah, what you're thinking. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here! But he would say it, you know. <laughs> well, he'll be certainly missed, and uh, as we find out more about what happened, cause of death, obviously from his family, we'll be reporting on that. Uh, so, if anyone wants to uh, send out, you know. Um, prayers or anything like that. I know that Billy has a Facebook page. A lot of people have been posting on the wall there, you know, yeah. rem- stories about remembering him. I know, I, I saw that um, my friend Billy Anello posted something. He had a picture of him like from 30 years ago with this kid, you know, Billy's all dressed up in the American Gladiator's costume. And he, it was a big impact on people of that generation because everyone watched American Gladiators when we were kids and, yeah. and growing up. And so, He's probably more well known for that than his bodybuilding. I knew him as a bodybuilder, but most people just knew him as the American Gladiator, mm-hmm. and I think that uh, that's notoriously what he'll probably ultimately be known for for the rest of his career. I like I said, I would have loved to seen him go into like movies because I think he would have been perfect, or, or even WWE or something like WWE, that. WWE, yeah, he would have. Well, you know, perfect. it's I don't know if you remember um, my office in 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 Mexico in the gym I, where um, I had the memorabilia up. I had yeah. you know, I had Marco Barrera and stuff up. Sid Sid recognized it. Right next to the Marco Barrera thing, I had actual Billy Smith's actual American Gladiator uniform. Oh, wow. Um, with the arm pads, you know, signed by yeah. Thunder. You know, I had it all framed in a shadow box. Oh, that's cool. Is yeah. it still there? Still there. Oh. Yeah, I went with the gym. Wow. Yep. You got to get it. You got to get it back now. Yeah, probably. It would be nice to have him. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's It, it kind of belongs in a gym, I you guess. know? I guess. Yeah. All right, well, guys, we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, like I said, we send our prayers, condolences out to Billy's family and all his loved ones. Uh, for now, I'm Dave Palumbo with John Romano for an RX Muscle News Update.